Hello, I'm Jim Cantrell with the City of Victoria Public Works Department. I'd like to explain the differences between water and wastewater and wastewater and stormwater. First, let's break these into two groups. I'll explain the differences between them by comparing water to wastewater, then wastewater to stormwater. I think this will help the explanation flow better. Water and wastewater, what's the difference? The staff of the Department of Public Works, as well as other environmental professionals, use the terms water and wastewater every day, knowing without question the difference between the two. Outside of our profession, however, differences in the two terms might not be so clear. A better term for what we usually call potable water is drinking water. This is what comes out of the faucets, shower heads, and garden hoses at our homes. Drinking water can also be used for things like manufacturing, industry, and equipment washing. Drinking water, before it is used, is safe to drink no matter what its use is. Drinking water starts out as lake water, river water, or groundwater. Drinking water providers like the City of Victoria collect raw water from one of these sources and pump it to a facility called a water treatment plant. Here, the raw water is routed through a series of settling tanks and filters to remove particles so small they are measured in millionths of an inch. The water is disinfected and the finished water is ready to drink. A large network of pumps, storage tanks and pipes, the distribution system, moves the drinking water into our homes and businesses. Wastewater, known to environmental professionals as sewage, is essentially what is produced when drinking water is used and discharged as waste. The drinking water used to bathe, cook, or flush becomes wastewater when it moves through the drain. The city has a large network of pipes to collect wastewater from homes and businesses and to convey it to a city facility for treatment. These facilities, called wastewater treatment plants, operate much differently from water treatment plants. Wastewater treatment plants first utilize a series of screening and settling processes to remove large inorganic solids. Next, natural biological processes are used to break down and remove organic matter. More settling is used to remove the natural bacteria which have consumed the organic matter. Finally, the cleansed wastewater is disinfected and discharged. What came into the treatment facility as polluted water, wastewater, has now been purified to natural stream water quality. In the final stage, treated wastewater is released into the Guadalupe River. What is the difference between wastewater and stormwater? As I explained earlier in the comparison between water and wastewater, the sewage system and the stormwater system are two separate systems. The sewage system includes underground pipes and main trunk lines that transport sewage from homes and wastewater liquid waste from businesses to sewage treatment plants. After the sewage is treated and the solids removed, the liquid or effluent is discharged into the Guadalupe River. Stormwater is rainwater that flows across external areas into the stormwater system. The stormwater system includes street gutters, drains, pipes, channels, and ditches that transport rainwater to receiving waterways like the Guadalupe River. Stormwater is not treated to remove pollutants. There is not a stormwater treatment plant. Therefore, it is important to keep all pollution out of the stormwater system and never pour anything into the storm drain for disposal. So now you know the difference between wastewater and stormwater. But keep in mind, while both wastewater and stormwater are discharged into the Guadalupe River, only wastewater is treated at the City of Victoria's wastewater treatment plant. Thank you for your time. I'm Jim Cantrell with the City of Victoria Public Works.